Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar brought to you by the Alberta Canola Producers Commission. Online, we have John Mako, Senior Agronomy Specialist with the Canola Council of Canada, and John's going to go through his top 10 tips of agronomy things you need to keep in mind before you start seeding. So I'm just going to turn it over to John, and he'll be running through the presentation here. Um, okay, so what we'd like to do is uh, to run through some of the uh, items that you should keep in mind as you're getting ready to start seeding. The weather's been beautiful in most areas of Western Canada over the last week or so uh, with uh, these summer-like temperatures uh, and I'm sure it's getting a lot of people are getting itchy to get started especially in the areas where the fields are suitable for that and um, so we wanted to run through uh, the points you should keep in mind just as you're getting ready to get going and get into the field. And so. Um, so we'll get started here in, in with the presentation. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, to start off, is uh, is your equipment ready to go? And uh, by equipment being ready to go, a uh, number of different factors to keep in mind there. Uh, first of all, make sure that the machine is level, uh, both uh, front to back as well as side to side. Uh, make sure that all your hoses are in, in good shape, no worn spots uh, in them, uh, especially on the elbows. Uh, one uh, method that is commonly used to lengthen the life of of these uh, of these uh, hoses, especially your primary hoses, is to give them a quarter turn each season to even out the wear and uh, and lengthen the life of of those hoses. Uh, next, thirdly, uh, look into your openers, uh, what kind of shape they're in, especially your double shoot or your side band openers. Make sure that they're uh, that there isn't any uneven wear, uh, especially on paired row openers. Many times I've seen the situation where one side of the paired row wing is worn because it's maybe working in a little bit softer soil as compared uh, to the other side, uh, this is especially on your uh, openers that are on the second and third uh, rows of the machine. Many times one side will be worn more than the other and that'll give you uneven uh, distribution of the seed. Uh, then as far as your um, Splitter towers. Uh, check to make sure that you don't have any corrosion or fertilizer build build up on the undersides of the splitter towers on the inside. Uh, though that corrosion or fertilizer build up can can either give you problems in terms of the uh, machine plugging up later on, or uh, can definitely give you problems as far as uh, seed uh, uh, damage as the seed ends up bashing against those rough surfaces, and uh, you can lead to increased seed damage because of that. So make sure that uh, that's all cleaned up, that there's no fertilizer or corrosion buildup on those uh, splitter towers. Uh, then uh, also while you're checking for those, uh, for the corrosion and fertilizer buildup, make sure that there's no uh, rodent or bird nests in any of your primary tow towers or hoses, uh, especially if your tank and seeding tool have been split during storage. Uh, you know, you still get mice in the shop and that sort of thing, and uh, they just love to get in there and, and uh, be able to, to build a nest in there. So uh, make sure that that's all, all uh, clean and you don't get any surprises uh, as you uh, start seeding. Uh, then also make sure that the uh, tire pressures are all according to the operator's manual uh, all around the machine, uh, on the uh, wings as well as your mainframe. Uh, many times the uh, tires might be the same size, but uh, quite often the wings might have a different ply rating than the center section, and consequently the tire pressures are a little bit different, and so uh, make sure you check with your operator's manual and that the tire pressures are all according to the recommended uh, suggestions in the operator's manual. 